Now comes one of my favorite parts. An opportunity to introduce our keynote speaker today. You know, today we have a very special person. Someone who truly, truly reflects what PrEP is about. And students, I hope you listen carefully because this is someone who you can will see is a wonderful role model for you. And I can tell you a little bit about Ms. Mrs. Marina Gavito, Alderete Gavito, because um, currently she's uh, Chief Operating Officer at Tech Block, doing some wonderful work on behalf of our city, bringing together many, many businesses, technology firms, and so forth to help advance the economy of this city. But she's also a racker, which means she works at Rackspace. <laughs> and a uh, multinational cloud hosting company here in our own backyard. Ms. Gavito graduated from St. Mary's University. She has an MBA from Kelstadt Graduate School of Business in Chicago. But most importantly, she is a prep graduate. Let's welcome Ms. Gavito. Good afternoon. I am Marina Alderete Gavito, and I'm so excited to be able to celebrate today with you all. You know, it wasn't that long ago that I was sitting in your chair, and I was, um, you know, thinking about when my parents, who are here today, told us about the PrEP program and encouraged me and my sister to go in it. And I remember thinking, what? We have to give up our summer? You know, I, I don't know about this, Mom and Dad. But we listened to them, and I'm glad that we did, because through the PrEP program, we made many memories, we learned a lot, and we made really good friends, just as all of y'all have done today. But I really didn't understand the impact that prep, the PrEP program had on me until much later. You know, Dr. Reyna and I were talking about how Rackspace and PrEP can further collaborate. And, um, you know, I went back to Rackspace and pulled together a project team and around 25 or 30 Rackers, and I said, hey, let's do something with the PrEP program. And we all kind of started talking about the PrEP program and what it meant to us. And it was astounding. I mean, out of half of the Rackers that were there, I mean, half of them were, were PrEP graduates. So we all started talking about the impact that the PrEP program had on us. It actually got us very interested in the tech industry. And then fast forward a couple years, here we are, are all sitting together at Rackspace. It was a really cool time. And each of us had different things in the program that were special to us. For me, it was the speakers. I remember sitting at St. Mary's University Lecture Hall, listening to women and men talk about their jobs and how they get to solve all these fun problems. And I thought, and they get paid for it. I want to do that. You know, sign me up for that. So it was really, really exciting. Um, to go through the program, and I know that you all are going to go through y'all's successful career, and one day you will think back to the prep program, and I guarantee you're going to have a smile on your face because you're going to realize that it impacted your career. The second point I want to make is, is quick. You know, I want you to be proud of today. You earned it. This was not a handout. This wasn't something free that was given to you. This was all your hard work and effort, all your blood, sweat, and tears, all your early mornings. So be proud of yourself for that. But also use it to your advantage. You know, um, my parents, and I actually want to recognize both my parents taking pictures of me right now. <laughs> uh, recognize my parents, Joe and Chris Alderete, for encouraging me to go through the prep program. Because when it t came time for uh, us to go to college, imagine the worry on their, on their minds. You know, four kids going through college. And, um, you know, my dad was telling us scholarship, 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 you know. And on all of the scholarship application forms, I was able to put, I'm a prep graduate. And I was in the Student Government Association, and I ran track, and I ran cross country, all these things. And you know what? My sister and I started seeing scholarships come in. And most of our St. Mary's uh, education was paid for by scholarship. And then afterwards, you know, when I moved to Chicago and I wanted to get my, my MBA, I thought, how am I going to do this? 
Well, I got in with a good company who said they'd pay for my master's. I did not pay a single cent for my MBA. And I'm telling you all of this because I want you to know that if I can do this, you can do this too. And today is a very important step one in your career. And, and you know, step two is going to be graduating from high school. Step three is going to be graduating from college. Step four is going to be graduating with your master's. For a lot of you, step five is going to be graduating with your MBA or, the, or landing that, that dream job of, of CEO or chief technology officer, you all are doing what you need to do today to get there. And so you should be very, very proud of yourselves. And I want to tell you to keep going and congratulations. Thank you. Thank you, Marina. Isn't she great? Uh, wonderful, wonderful reflection of our program. And thank you for the wonderful inspiration and message for, for our students, because uh, you are a role model. And I know that's a great opportunity for them to know that just a few years ago, you too, like you said, were sitting out there like they are today. Yep. So thank you so much. How about another round of applause?